What's going on everyone for today's video I wanted to talk about what makes blackout so addicting it's a question that I've been having for like the past like week and a half and I wanted to make a video on it just to like see what you guys' opinion is about it you know so leave down in the comments uh, what your opinion is about this question um, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts about it really just I think I, you have to go back to oh you're gonna see me miss so many shots here this is the first time I'm using this weapon, okay? Don't give me a big... <laughs> oh, that guy was level 82. Uh, don't give me a such a hard time. That was the first time I ever was using that weapon. That's a had a lot of different recoil than I was used to, so... Uh, I really wanted to just focus on this question. was like, what makes Blackout so addicting? I think my answer would probably be like the Battle Royale aspect of it. Um, everyone's trying to win, correct? So... I feel like, you know, since everyone's trying to go first place and trying to get, you know, high kill, high kill games, I think that's the aspect, the rush of Battle Royale is that if you die, it's over, you know, like you have to start from scratch again, you know, um, and I like that, you know, I don't know why, but in PUBG, um, you know, it's a Battle Royale as well, and that's how it felt as well, and that's why it reminds me, Blackout reminds me of of that game is that rush all over again that new feeling so yeah leave down in the comments down below what you guys' opinion is about this question i would love to read and respond to every single one of y'all but uh i also just wanted to say um just really re evaluate my my gameplay in this game um because i wanted to watch the footage all over again because uh we ended up well i don't want to spoil anything but we ended up uh, doing some crazy plays, but at the same time, <clears throat> I ended up missing a lot of shots. Uh, right here, that guy, uh, I don't know what he was doing, but uh, right here, you're going to see me use the SDM, and I missed so many shots, and uh, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I I don't have that much practice with this weapon. I'm just going to be honest, you know. Um, I wish I had a a normal sniper rifle in this situation but I decided to grab the SDM since you know I never use it and I was like I'm gonna start practicing with this gun because you know I'm not used to the recoil oh shit there's people on top of that hill I'm not used to the recoil so I was like I'm gonna decide to go ahead and practice with it you know so if I never grab it I'm never gonna be I'm never um, gonna get better with it so I decided to use the SDM I'm not sure it was the right moment to use it because this was a really close game, man. And if I would have hit my shots with the SDM, I'm, we might have won this game uh, way easier. Well, I already spoiled it. We won the game, okay? <laughs> but uh, it was, uh, I don't know, the feeling when I won this game was uh, no question. I think the best feeling I've had in a while. <laughs> And I think that's the battle royale addiction. That's why I came up with this question, was because I was my heart was beating hard, man. Like it was insane. I was like, oh my god, man, if we don't win this game because I miss my SDM shots, like it's it sucks. But you, it, I think that rush, you know, is what makes this game so addicting. That rush to like get first place, you know, and survive. It's uh, but that's just my opinion, you know. Um, here, this guy took my freaking, I think I had armor on. He took my armor down like completely. He hit some good shots. And I was looking at the wrong tree again, god damn it. Um, but I hit him a couple times, I think twice. My teammate decided to go down. <laughs> well, he didn't decide to go down. He just got, I think, outplayed or something. And uh, he wasn't talking. This guy was not talking to me whatsoever. So I was like, well, he's probably dead. Um, he's probably gonna get finished, but I was worried about the guy behind the tree and I didn't realize that my teammate had knocked him I think um, After my SDM shot, so he was knocked behind that tree and I was like, you know what? He's still alive I'm gonna go try to revive and that's exactly what I did um, The grapple gun is amazing dude those grapple guns if you, you know how to use them and you practice with them I don't know what I was trying to do there. I was <laughs> confused X for the grapple gun, but um, I Saw the guy on top of that hill and uh, took some shots, got him a couple times with the SMG from that range. is a little difficult, but I got him weak, so I decided to push, and I ended up taking him out. 
Uh, and I just noticed he was level 80. Holy crap. I should, like, be intimidated on the fact that, you know, I'm going against really high-level players. But, eh, not really. I don't really think about it. When you're in that situation, you're just kind of like, you know, try to outplay the opponent, you know? That's the way you should go at it. Don't think like, oh, shit, there's going to be level 80 players. You should probably just play it out, man. Because, you know, don't, don't, if you're already losing, if, um, psychologically, right there if you're forcing yourself to think like that but uh i was just trying to aim down my site here trying to warm up and trying to look for the people that were left i think there was like five other people left and uh i'm you're gonna see me again miss so many sdm shots the guy jumps over that one and i keep missing dude and i'm like no man why am i missing it sucks when you miss dude um with a gun that you don't use you like because you you know you can improve but uh you're gonna see you miss a lot and i apologize for that but uh it's just the sdm is one of those guns that i just never touch i just don't touch it you know i just leave it to my to my uh my teammate to use it you know i'm like yeah i don't like it i don't i don't like it on console maybe on pc i've seen people use it and it looks way better there but like here i, I don't know uh, my teammate spotted this guy on the on the tree, and I decided to push the guy. But, uh, yeah, name one weapon that you guys just don't normally practice with. For me, it would be the SDM, you know. Um, I just suck with it, man. I got to get better with it. But we're going to be using it uh, a couple more times and try to get used to the actual recoil of the gun because of, it was a little difficult. But um, I decided to push this guy. The guy was just looting, I guess, his teammate or something. And I, I was shooting at the dead body instead of him. But we ended up getting him. And then I rushed back over here because I knew there was another couple players over here. <clears throat> but yeah, man. This game was uh, was insane. <laughs> it was insane. And I, I started realizing, well, I'm not going to hit my shots. And uh, I was like, you know what? The only chance I got against these guys, because right now I'm not my STM skills are not as good as I want them to be is to get up close. So I wanted to get up close, right? And as soon as I got up close, I used, I used dead silence at the last second. And that, this is why I think dead silence should like get out of this game, dude. Cause I feel like it's like OP, but, uh, I let the teammate go down there, took this guy out. And then you're going to see this play, dude. Look at this. Shot him from the top. Ooh. The guy did not expect that, dude. Knocked my teammate as well, but that was amazing, bro. Like, those are the moments why I play Blackout. Because you could do shots like that. You could do trick shots like that. I was shooting. I jumped off the rock, and I was still shooting at him. Managed to still hit my shots. And um, ended up getting both of them. And then I realized that last guy's probably at the house. And... I decided to go loot these bodies really quickly. I'm like, this guy's going to have to come out eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, loot these bags for some grenades. Any throwables this, these people have. And uh, I think I found cluster grenades. Yeah, I did. There we go. And then a concussion. I didn't use a concussion. I just I just started using like, cluster grenades. Tried to throw it in the window. And that was a fail. <laughs> but uh, we ended up getting this guy and we ended up winning. And this was a random too, so the guy didn't talk whatsoever, and uh, we ended up winning. But we, we, I think the key was to stay together. But if you enjoyed, you know, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.